At Saints Penn Nation, we are previewing week four of the 2019 season as William Penn heads down to uh, Baker uh, tomorrow on Saturday. So, Coach, uh, let's recap last week's game and then we can talk about the Wildcats. So, uh, Mid American Nazarene, just another one of those situations. I, I, you know, three weeks in a row, really good start, and then uh, just couldn't maintain. Well, and I, you know, it for, for us right now as a football team, it really comes down to taking care of the football. Yeah. You know, I think our defense is, is playing well enough <laughs> for us to win. Um, I, I've, I've thought that in all three of the games. I thought offensively we've played well enough to win right. until, you know, a string of turnovers yeah. at some point in time has just led to our demise, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, you know, two weeks ago um, against Benedictine, we had three turnovers in the fourth quarter. Um, last week we had four turnovers in five possessions from about midway through the third quarter yeah. on. Um, and so I, I, I feel good that, you know, it, it's not a situation where we're trying to redefine ourselves. Right. It's, it's more of a matter of, Okay, let's let's keep some momentum. Let's hang on to the football. You know, even if we have to punt the football, let's get to the point where okay, look, we're holding on to it. We're not turning it over. Maybe get a couple extra turnovers, and you know, a couple of those turnovers last week were in the red zone going in, and so yeah, that yeah. makes it even tougher. So, yeah. um, you know, we, we we're doing the right things. Our kids are in it. Um, they're excited to go play, and you know, hopefully we can you know execute down the stretch and, and get a, get a win. Yeah, uh, one positive I, I took out of last week, it's especially in early on, that's where unfortunately most of the positives right, were, right. but um, our, uh, I don't want to call it perimeter run game, but everything to the edge was working really well, and that's it's been a while since we've had you know that much success uh, right. to the outside. A lot of it's been, you know, if Ben Sherman or you know, yeah. Davis Johnson or whoever it was, right. you know, that's where it started. And, and those guys were getting bobbled up a little bit, but you know, Jordan Nunnery was getting to the outside, or this guy was getting out there, and I mean, that was well. I, you know, we made a, that also, you know, obviously open up the front again. So. Right. And well, and, that, and I, you know, Nick Nick uh, Haddock and I coach, you know, the slots together, and um, you know, we made a conscious effort la last week of doing a lot better job of, of blocking for each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it's um, the, the slot position in our offense is it's a very unselfish position. Yeah. You know, there's going to be times that you're going to carry it and someone's going to be expected to block for you. But when you're not carrying it, you're going to be expected to block for somebody. And I think they, they really understand it. They're, they're young, so they're still trying to learn how to, you know, some of the techniques that go along with that. Um, but I thought last week we had a great week. We did a great job of, of blocking for each other and, and being unselfish. And uh, it showed, you know, especially early in the game. We had an 11-play drive right off the bat for a touchdown. We had an, another 16-play uh, drive for a field goal, you know. so. Uh, we, we maintained the football. We did a good job getting first downs. Um, and, you know, and, and as the game went on, I don't know if they got tired or you know, they told me they didn't, but the, yeah. we just didn't do as good a job on the edge. And, right. um, you know, there was some stuff inside that we probably should have tried to take advantage of that we didn't. And, uh, um, you know, they, they kind of shut us down there about midway through the third. But, again, um, the, the execution was good. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that, you know, I, I think, you know, we can build off that. You know, we'll try and add some things to that to – when they take away the outside, that we have some more inside run game, and and I think that uh, um, that based off this week, I think we're ready to go. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, flip the script here. Talk about uh, the Baker Wildcats uh, team, two and one, coming off a huge win against Graceland, um, but their one loss coming against Grandview, who I think you've even mentioned in the past, probably the team to beat this year. I I, yeah. I think just the way they've been playing early on. Um, talk about the Wildcats and how they set up on both sides. Yeah, the, the, it, it's a, to be honest with you, it's a lot like Benedictine. Yeah. Um, you know, they're gonna they're gonna line up and they're gonna try and establish the run. That uh, JD Woods is an outstanding running back that they have. Um, you know, comparing him to um, the the young man from from Benedictine, you know, uh, he's probably a little bit faster, probably not quite as physical, um, but a, but very good. Right. And and their quarterback does a good job. Uh, with play action, uh, they have a dynamic receiver, so you know they have a pretty good you know one two three punch with their quarterback, their running back, and and their receiver. They do a great job. They're big up front. Um, defensively, they're they're they've gone a little bit smaller than they have been in the past, but man, their their defense extremely fast. Yeah, you know, so so getting the ball to the edge is you know you, you're going to have to get people on the ground and you're going to have to get it there quick. Right. Um, you know, and, and so with them being a little bit undersized, maybe we could try and take advantage of some things inside. Um, but they're a good football team. They're yeah. well coached. Uh, Coach Thorne, is, even though this is his first year, he's been there for a long time. Uh, you can tell the kids are playing hard for him, and uh, um, and they're a good football team. Well, and he's a defensive guy. He you is. know, the 
I think his entire career at, at Baker has been on the defensive side, so um, you know that's where they're probably going to hang their hat the most. And you know, nice they're for them good. to also and, have a, a good yeah, offense. Yeah, they that. really are. Well, and, and you know they're they're so disciplined on defense. They don't they don't blitz a lot. Even passing teams, they don't blitz a lot. They they play, but but they run to the ball. They create turnovers, and you know they, they do a good job of just doing their job. And and uh, um, you know they all you can tell they all trust each other. They all know what's going on. And, um, you know, it'll be a, it'll be a tough battle for us Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, um, looking at a little bit of injury issues this week. Uh, yeah. Got some people banged up, so we that's going to make for a different look on Saturday. Yeah. You know, and, and injuries are part of football. Yeah, it just you know, happens, it, right? it is what it is. And um, again, I go back to our. We really had a good week of practice, yeah. so I feel confident that you know our kids are going to be fine. But Sione uh, Mafu is our starting center. Hurt his ankle. Um, you know, we're hoping. Two to three weeks. Um, um, Tyler it Wood didn't look good when he walked off. Um, and he's not able to put well, weight it, on it. It didn't yeah. look good when he walked off. You should have seen what it looked like. Oh, on the film. It was bad. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. He got caught under a pile and then got twisted back. And um, you know, fortunately, it wasn't yeah, a knee worse. or, yeah, or right. worse ankle. You know, so um, so he'll be back. It's just yeah. going to take some time. Um, Tyler's dealing with a little bit of a back issue that, that he had checked out, and um, and so we're, we're going to hold him out this week. I, I think long term health is, is yep. our goal for him and um, you know we've got some others that are just have some nagging injuries that uh, that we're trying to take care of but um, those are the the two big guys right now we do get Clive Manuel back um, yeah. uh, he got an injury this spring that's now he's recovering from so hopefully he can get us some snaps on defense and um, listen we're, we're gonna go fight our yeah. kids are gonna go play hard I know that and, um, you know we'll we'll go see what we can do and hopefully we can hang on to the ball and score some points right right Obviously, that's going to be the key to success. Is that not the only key, but a major key is you know that turnover uh, battle. They're one of the better teams in the league, and unfortunately, yeah. we're on the other end of that yeah. uh, that rung. So, um, let's talk about I guess any key, keys to that part of it. Like, I mean, what's outside of just being more careful? I, mean, I know right, that, no. that, that seems like it's oversimplifying. <laughs> it it really just, is. You know, just hold on to the ball. You but know, but and, that's and, that, that's that's true. You know, and, and you know, there's there's it's really a, a fine line because you don't want to talk about it too much because right. then that's all they think about. Yeah, exactly. um, but you have to talk about it because it's something that's plaguing our team right yeah. now. And so, you know, we, we talked about it on Tuesday and then we've kind of just left it alone. You know, guys, this is what you have to do. You know, we're teaching you the proper techniques on how to carry the football and take right. care of the football and just trust your techniques and, uh, um, and go play, you know, yeah. go, go do what you do. And, you know, you, you, you do it for three quarters. Let's just, continue to do what we're doing for the, for the end of the game and so um, so our, you know we'll, we'll go and and uh, you know hopefully we can we can hang on to it yeah definitely all right uh, coach Hafner and the guys will be down in Baldwin City Kansas tomorrow one o'clock start at Liston Stadium so uh, check them out if not we have volleyball at home here as well so uh, always always a full uh, lots of good stuff ton, ton of action as yes. well yeah and then I think yeah just a few miles away soccer teams over um, at uh, Atchison, Kansas, uh, to take on Benedictine. So if you're there, I'm trying to think the timing, I think they're probably going on the same time, to be honest. For yeah. some reason, I'm thinking soccer might be later. But anyway, if it's possible, <laughs> you can hit like you a, check you know, out, a triple yeah. header of, of <laughs> William Penn action. Yeah. So uh, best of luck, Coach. Thank you. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right, sounds All right. good. Thanks. Thank you.